Hey, look out. There's some unique fungus growing in Chicago, and the food guy says it's delicious. He means mushrooms, of course, and a local businessman has really cultivated this, this new way of bringing all kinds of interesting mushrooms to the tables in restaurants in Chicago. And Steve Delinsky is here to tell us all about it. It's not even Fungus Wednesday, it's Fungus, fungus Thursday. Thursday. I was going to say, where's Brant? He would love this. <laughs> we got to get him this story. He would story. appreciate this story. All right, talk about a niche industry. Mushrooms often take the place of beef since they're naturally earthy and meaty. But we're not talking portobellos or shiitakes anymore. A one-of-a-kind business here is growing harder to find varieties and thus more appealing to chefs. In the rarefied air of a three-star Michelin restaurant like Smith in the West Loop, dessert has to be a showstopper. The kitchen sources exotic chestnut mushrooms from a local supplier, as well as tiny enokis. The brown enoki mushroom, uh, which they were planning on growing in the same way as most, most enokis are like long, thin, small cap. And I said, well, what if we kept letting them grow and let the cap open up? The result is a tart unlike anything you'll see in a bakery. Sweet tart with cream on the base. It's, a, it's the shell of it with apples, candied pieces of mushroom. And then the raw caps are up, almost like they're sprouting out of the tart. The customized cultivation stems from Four Star Mushrooms, a small business operating out of a West Side warehouse that looks like a set from a science fiction film. So I started this because I'm super passionate about sustainable agriculture and mushrooms are a keystone component in building sustainable food systems. The alien looking fungi emerge from containers of upcycled substrate. All of our substrate is made with uh, red oak sawdust and soybean hulls. Managing the environment requires playing mother nature. So the variables that we're, we're controlling are the temperature, the humidity, the level of oxygen versus CO2, and the air turbidity in the room. The results have been impressive. Blue oysters, black oysters, and king trumpet. And we've also got chestnut mushrooms, golden enoki, and lion's mane mushroom. Scaling the business, they're now able to reach more customers, like the Dearborn in the heart of the loop, where mushrooms appear all over the menu, on a pizza, black and blue trumpets, along with chestnuts. The, the trumpets are the star of the show, kind of, on this one. We just put the chestnuts in for a kind of meatiness. Trumpets and shiitakes are sautéed with dumplings, even braised for soups. We use mushrooms in areas where, like, you know, you still want to have a substantial meal that, that feels good, that feels filling. A little bit of everything is sautéed, then placed on a roll with cheese on the other side for a decadent melt that's broiled open-faced, griddled, and pressed like a panini. They just have that, like, meaty chew that you want, and they're rich. The flavor profile of these exotic mushrooms is like nothing you've ever had. You could saute them with butter and salt and call it a day. More info about all the places I mentioned and how to buy those mushrooms fresh by the case or dried on our website, NBCChicago.com. Just search for The Food Guy.